What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about my personal wish list for chapter three. I do one of these around the end of every season or chapter in this case. Y'all seem to like it, and sometimes we're right about what's to come. So without further ado, let's get right into it all right to start off this video i want to talk about things that they could possibly add to chapter three that would improve the game a ton in my opinion and then after that we're going to get into what i would like to see as far as the loot pool goes and i'm going to be talking about mostly the like competitive side this would probably work for pubs as well so the first thing that i would like to see them add or redo i guess in this case is arena i would love to see an arena rework i know we just got one for the last season this current season that we're in kind of halfway done you know they they had a good starting to it but it didn't seem finished to me i know i've talked about it way too many times in previous videos so i'm not going to get into it too much here but we need more reason to grind to champions and further we need more of a reason to grind to champions, if not further into champions, other than just to be able to play tournaments. Cosmetics, whether it be a banner or a contrail or just, just a little symbol next to your name. Like something as simple as that would make people want to play arena and grind for the highest tier possible. And people might actually take arena a little bit more seriously than only one way to find out and that's to do it you know we can change it as as we go test some things out and i think we'll be good on the arena format additionally i would like to see more customization for controller settings and by that i mean like stuff like scroll wheel reset or instant reset i guess for controller there's still a big gap in between controller play and mouse and keyboard play with the new sliding mechanic who knows it might end up closing the barrier a little bit more but probably not it's probably going to widen that gap probably going to be easier to slide around on mouse and keyboard than it will be on controller and on the same topic as the sliding mechanic i would like to see new edits come to the game that allow people to use the sliding mechanic with edits as well so like maybe the bottom row center tile make that an edit you could have people you know crawl through walls if you have a teammate that's down you could edit the wall crawl right in or you can make that edit slide out of the box you know 200 pump someone it could make for some pretty good clips now that's just one example of a new edit that i would like to see but i'm sure if epic really put their like minds to it they could figure out a lot more edits that they could add into the game to improve the gameplay along with the sliding mechanic now, I know we've all seen all these teasers here lately about the Chapter 2 live event and the whole Ship It logo that's going around right now. So those originated from the Hot Drop drones from Chapter 1. And I really think that those would be a good addition to the game. They were tons of fun being able to land at certain drops that had these Hot Drop drones that gave you loot right off spawn. They were a great addition. I don't know why they didn't keep them around or add them back sometime during chapter two, but hopefully we can see those added back in during chapter three, especially since it's kind of being teased, at least that company or whatever it is, maybe ship it is just their motto. We don't really know, but I'm gonna call it the ship it business, okay? The ship it business. Hopefully those, those drones come back during chapter three. It would add a lot more loot to the map which we don't know at this point whether or not loot's going to be an issue on the map or not but you know more loot's never a bad thing especially with how rng is in fortnite it just makes a lot of sense to have these hot drop drones on the map they'd be random at every location it would only be a select there would only be a couple of pois on the map that would have these these uh ship it drones at the pois so it makes it more available for for fights early game and a lot of action and i mean after all that's that's what we like in fortnite right we like the action we like the fighting why not make these hot drop locations i mean they could make it where the first couple pois right at the beginning of the bus route they could have it you know one at the end one at the beginning one in the middle they could do a lot of stuff they could make it where it's just completely rng and the game just randomly chooses two or three pois at the start of the match where these drones will spawn and it would give people extra loot and good weapons off the start of the match too so like blue or better loot from these these uh ship it drones i loved it back in chapter one like i've said previously and i would love to see those come back during chapter three 
and hopefully they will. So let's move on to what I think the loot pool should be, whether it's pubs, competitive. I'm going to be talking mostly competitive since that's what I enjoy playing, but I do enjoy playing pubs too. So this stuff would be in pubs as well as being in, you know, competitive arena tournaments, whatever the case may be. And you might notice that there's a lot of items, weapons, whatever the case on my list here, which which is why I think the ship it drones would be a great addition as well as the loot pool that I'm about to go over. Now let's talk about the shotguns for the loot pool. And I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but you know, just hear me out here. They need to vault the pump. I know, I know, I know, wait, wait, don't click off yet. Don't click off yet. I think the pump should be vaulted. We should have lever, charge, and tack and possibly a brand new shotgun that we've never seen before brought into the game kind of like back in what was it chapter or uh season three maybe it was season four uh one of those seasons where where they just had the lack charge tack and the dragon fire that in my opinion was the most balanced the shotgun meta has ever been everyone had you know a shotgun that they could use one wasn't really better than the others besides the charge because it's kind of broken if you ask me if y'all watch the shotgun meta video that i posted a while back you will know how i feel about the charge it's a really good shotgun it's just a little clunky and maybe the unreal engine 5 update will make it less clunky we'll just have to find out if the charge is still in the game once chapter 3 launches but back on my original topic here that was the most balanced that i've felt for the shotgun meta was in that season alone with the with the lever charge and tack it was just great nothing was overpowered you could grab either one of the shotguns and do perfectly fine with any shotgun that you found around the map moving on to ars i would like to see the normal ar the burst ar and the combat AR. I know the combat AR currently right now is in pubs, but I would like to see it come to the competitive scene. I feel like the combat AR got a lot of hate from the casual players because of the recoil on it was so tough to control for people who didn't really have their aiming mechanic really down pat. It had a ton of kick to it, but if you used it and you were able to control that recoil since it was just a vertical recoil not vertical and horizontal recoil it was really a powerful ar it could absolutely shred people and i would love to see that come to competitive because it does require a lot of skill to be able to aim that ar and hit your shots with it i really enjoy the combat ar it was a great addition to the loot pool I'm just sad to see that it's not in the competitive playlists. And I really hope that during chapter three, they do add it to the competitive playlists. Let's talk about the SMGs for the loot pool in chapter three that I would like to see. And of course you have your, your normal SMG. I don't, I don't want the silence SMG. They ended up nerfing it a couple of seasons back. And ever since then, it's never been as good as like a normal SMG or just not running an SMG at all. The fire rate was a little too slow and it really didn't deal that much damage. So it really wasn't worth picking up the silenced SMG. So give us the normal SMG. Let's have the P90 in there. Let's have the ability to have the rapid fire, whether it's from chest or just side grading. Let's add in the, the combat SMG as well. Now I'm, I'm kind of 50, 50 on the combat SMG simply because we haven't yet been able to play around with it from just the clips that I've seen of when it did accidentally get added to the game. It looks like a really good SMG and hopefully it'll come back at the last week of this season and we can possibly try to use it and see what it's all about and how good it actually is compared to say the regular SMG P90 or the rapid fire even. It's supposed to have a higher fire rate or a higher damage than the rapid fire. So it could be pretty interesting to use and see how it all works with the SMG meta. Additionally, I think they should add in snipers back to the game, but under one condition. I feel like snipers should only be found in, say, supply drops or epic chest, even though I'm pretty sure the epic chest got vaulted because I haven't seen one in quite some time now. 
unless you're using visual sound effects and then the visual sound effects for a normal chess end up showing as an epic chess it could just be a visual bug epic chess and supply drops i feel like is the only way that you should be able to get a sniper because back when they were in the game they were way too common to find you'd get them out of every chest they'd be everywhere as loot uh floor loot spawns and they need to be more rare because it is a one-shot kill if you hit someone in the head with it and if you're picking up a sniper more than likely you're probably going to be pretty decent with it especially in competitive playlists because like that's that's a slot that that sniper is taking up which could be used for anything else heals mobility whatever the case may be it's going to take up a slot causing you not to be able to carry something else so you wouldn't carry a sniper unless you were really good at it in competitive playlists on top of making snipers more rare to find, I also think that they should be limited on ammo. I know right now they're limited to 50, but honestly, I feel like that's still too much. I still feel like that's too much to be added in with the sniper because people are never going to go through those 50, 50 rounds. They're just going to keep on taking shots with the sniper. They're going to play super long range and it's just going to be annoying, especially when you can get shot once and die if they hit you in the head or deal over 100 damage if they hit you in the body. So let's go ahead and limit it to about 10 or 15 ammo per sniper. And once you're out, you're just out unless you find another sniper. I feel like that would balance the snipers out a lot and make them more enjoyable to actually use in game because you're going to need to have that skill to be able to hit the shot and you don't get people just spam shooting the sniper all the time, which is super annoying especially in, in the competitive playlists. So I feel like the bolty and the heavy snipe needs to come back, both with the limited ammo, especially the, the heavy sniper. So what you could do is you can make the bolty have 15 ammo and have the heavy snipe have 10 since it does do more damage and it can one shot build. So make the heavy sniper have less ammo than the bolties. And I feel like that would balance out the snipers a lot and make competitive a lot more fun. Also, I don't wanna see explosives in the game unless it's like c4 or something something fun like c4 uh no grenades really i don't really care about grenades grenades can stay i guess but like rocket launchers get those out of here we don't need rocket launchers this game is built around the building and editing mechanic and rocket launchers just kind of take the fun out of that because you get someone who's not that great they'll spam shoot that that rpg and just break you down every time and you, you can't really like build to defend yourself against them because they're just gonna shoot the rocket launcher every time god forbid it's a duo or a, a trio or squad and they have a rocket launcher piece or even two rocket launchers you know it just gets insane when people are just spamming the the rpgs super annoying take them out they don't need to be in here granted they are a bit harder to find because you can only get them in supply drops so i guess they're kind of balanced that way but either way now with all these other items added to the game we do need mobility and that's what i'm going to talk about right now launch pads definitely need to stay right launch pads are, are amazing i don't know why they ever took them out of the game launch pads are a staple though we need launch pads in the game additionally i think bounce pads should come back not the crash pads but the little bounce pads they were really fun made for some some really good clips and also it, you can use them very skillfully too i don't know i feel like they were really good for the game for competitive and also let's add impulses in or make a new item that's similar to say the impulses mixed with the shockwave grenades so what i mean by that is have something that takes you as far as like the shockwaves do but make it so it doesn't break builds and you don't take fall damage like you would with an impulse grenade no breaking builds no fall damage and sends you about as far as the the shock waves do i feel like that item if they could either they they tweak the impulse or just bring out a completely new item that's like the combination of the two i feel like that would be amazing for for the game for competitive for public matches whatever the case may be because there's nothing worse than like playing a tournament so Someone shockwaves up and like breaks the builds you fall to your death there's really nothing you can do in that situation especially if someone down below is getting pushed someone exploits into their box they panic shockwave out and now you know you're, you're casualty they like your builds break you fall down you take a bunch of damage you're in a bad situation now all because someone got exploited on and someone hopped into their box i just don't feel like if you're gonna have mobility that 
it should break builds I, I just feel like it's not good for the game it causes a bunch of server lag especially in like tournaments and those those really stacked late game tournaments builds breaking the animation of the of the shock waves going off all that stuff it puts a major strain on the server and maybe that might be fixed with the new unreal engine 5 but we don't really know because none of us have played on the Unreal Engine 5 until Chapter 3 comes out. Either way, though, mobility shouldn't be able to break builds. So add something in for us to be able to move around that doesn't also break builds like the Shockwave does and like the, the Crash Pads did. Also, I feel like Mythics should be added back and not any weapon mythics though so if you remember back in the chapter four chapter five when we had like uh skies ar a caddy launcher and all that good stuff in the game the mythic weapons were versions of already powerful weapons but they just made them do more damage and shoot faster which is just absolutely broken especially in competitive if you have someone with really really good aim and they have sky's assault rifle they're they're just gonna absolutely melt you they're gonna destroy your hp they're gonna take you from 200 to zero instantly let's not have any more mythic weapons but let's have mythic items added in especially for for competitive so stuff like the grappler or the the unlimited chug jug stuff like that would be really fun to the game and not be absolutely broken for for competitive i feel like it would add a bit more spice to competitive and and tournaments because it's something different than just the normal loot pool that we've seen for for seasons past now and with those mythic items you really have to drop at the location and and fight that battle to be able to get get it and only one person can have it so making just random items like grapplers chug jugs you know whatever the case may be as a mythic that has extra abilities to it like the uh infinite chug jug i'm gonna keep on using that for instance you know you could pop it and it stays in your inventory it takes up that inventory slot which is kind of the downside of it and also the chug jug took like what 15 20 seconds to pop so like it takes a pretty long time to get a chug jug off but it gives you 200 HP as well. So I feel like something like that, items like that would be really, really good to add to the game. It would make competitive and tournaments a lot of fun. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about my wish list down below and also what you would like to see come to chapter three. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.